on the grid then, ready for the second Euro F600 sidecar race. And we've just got Sid here. Start line, Sid. F600 sidecars on the grid so far. It's only been about two men, Simon Neary and Dipash Chow, and we need that changing. That'll definitely change once we get a few more on the grid. I mean, the weapon of choice at the moment is a Formula 2 sidecar, but we've devised this new class so that six, seven, five, three cylinders and two-cylinder 750s can come in. Also, other vehicles that are being built are like two-cylinder um, two-strokes. So we're really excited about that, to be honest. And I think we'll see after the TT, where all the Formula 2s, that they concentrate on that. I think we'll see a full grid here and some competition for Simon. Well, if anyone's going to know, Sid will know. And uh, it's time to now join Robin, and uh, I'll be up there soon with you in the commentary box, ready for the second race here. Thanks very much, Steve. Yes, it's Euro Formula 600 sidecars. The Sid goes off to Diggy's Field of Potatoes. We look down on the grid. And on pole position, number two, Simon Neary and uh, Deepash Chow. And after their wonderful performance in the earlier race, alongside him, though, keep an eye on 25 Dave Atkinson and Phil Napton. They got a cracking start last time. This doesn't look too sad this time, although it's getting a little adjacent in the middle of the pack. <laughs> Just room to squeeze round. Well, it's three abreast for the lead, Steve, as they head for Redgate. Yeah, good stuff there from Dave Atkinson and Phil Napton, and they know that their only chance of winning is if they can get out in front and hope that Neary and Chowan maybe have a little bit of a mishap. We are one or two sidecar outfits missing after a few tumbles here and there from race one. Not least, of course, uh, uh, Chand and Barrett, who... Uh, Around half a lap with uh, Barrett. He departed over at uh, Goddard's and it took uh, until I think Hollywood or Crane curves before Gordon realised that. Well, up the hill they come towards us and it is still Dave Atkinson and Phil Napton to hold the lead. Further back there, Tony Durkin and uh, Nigel Barlow. Thirsk and Doncaster respectively working hard in that. Uh, 24 outfits, the Mr. Iki Honda up front, Chan and his rider, Neary, working hard, and in second place at the moment, and they're further back, 32, Tim Antil and James Stonia. Yeah, here we go, classic manoeuvre once more, did exactly the same in race one, and another oh, hit! Oh, <laughs> it, it's, it's almost a replica of race one, and... Uh, it's almost as if they, they're able just to go in that little bit hotter but not keep their line and well that nearly ended in tears for the pair of them there yeah that was pinball wasn't it <laughs> oh and look at this now Conrad Harrison and Lee Patterson fancy a look up the inside for second position but uh, they thought better of it there's uh, no doubt that there's going to be uh, one or two marks and bumps on the front of that in fact you can see there's a big lump missing from the front of the number 45 of Dave Atkinson and Phil Napton there in second. Yep, it's got a bit of a squished nose, doesn't it? And I'll tell you what, uh, looking very keen there. Uh, Conrad Harris and Lee Patterson, number 10, in third place. They're right on the pace at the moment. But Neary and Chowan, well, they started the weekend with an absolutely immaculate machine. But it's been a few uh, fish and bangs have been shoved around a little. Yeah, one or two marks on it now. But uh, one thing's for sure, I think Simon Neary having just been involved in that will just do all he can to pull away and not uh, have any more biffs and bumps going into red gates there is uh, Atkinson and Napton and as you say they're coming under some intense pressure from Harrison and Patterson the uh, team sponsored by printing roller supplies are doing very well here a little bit further back you see uh, 34 Saunders and Parker with Thornton and Dean just uh, tucked in behind 7th and 8th that is the battle for yeah, some good little battles going on, in fact, all the way down through the field. But at the moment, these early stages of the season and the championship, nobody quite able to live with the pace of that number two outfit. Simon Neary and Dibash Chow. And in fact, it looks to me, Steve, as though they're going to see if they can stop their own new lap record at Donington Park. They're getting very close to it at the moment, just nibbling away 10th for 10th. And in the process, they're stretching away from the second place outfit there, number 45, Dave Atkinson and Phil Napton. There they cross the line, and see the chequered flag, and indeed they have, they've done it. That is another new lap record of Donington Park, uh, to Neary and Chowan. 
Fantastic stuff from them. Yes, we can try and quite rightly so too. Very happy. They take the wins, Magnuson and that Harrison and Patterson third, Lockie and Clements fourth, Sir Philip Arlow fifth, and Ransom were finishing in sixth place there on the crowded podium in the middle. Simon Neary and Jack Gower. Once again, the winners. And leading the standings, well, with an outstanding lead.